Now, an update from ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is 723. I'm Tanya Babich. Two women are in the hospital this morning after an IDOT Minuteman rescued them from a burning car. This happened overnight on the Kennedy Expressway near Addison. The Minuteman, Steve Newcomb, tells us he saw the driver hit a wall before that driver's car caught fire. He acted quickly, pulling two women to safety before firefighters arrived. Steve says he was just doing his job and he's grateful to help. Truly, he's a hero. We're working to find out the conditions of the women who were involved in that accident. Let's get a check of our ABC7 AccuWeather forecast now with meteorologist Tracy Butler. Hi there, Tanya. Good morning. Well, right now, we do have a look at our temperatures. 32 degrees out at O'Hare, 32 in Whiting, 31 in Plainfield, 28 degrees now in Hampshire, and 29 degrees currently in Morris. We've started off the day with some sun, but the clouds are going to continue to stroll our way. And it's possible we will even have a few sprinkles around the area this afternoon. As for tomorrow, we'll start the day with the clouds and we'll end up with some sun. And we should wind up with some highs around 60. Roz, after this break. This is how it feels to live blissfully, to live mindfully. When you have a health partner who doesn't just treat part of you, they care for all of you. At Advocate Healthcare, we're making care easier, more accessible, and more complete than ever before, so that you can enjoy more of the moments you love. That's what it means to live wonderfully, to live joyfully, to live fully. Welcome back. We're looking at 35 to 40 minute average travel times on the inbound expressways between the tri-state and downtown. But we have a serious crash up in Bartlett. This is going to be on Stearns Road, just a little bit east of Powis. Take a look, Chopper 7's over the scene. It's right by the CN tracks, and they're only letting one lane of traffic through on Stearns. They're alternating between east and westbound traffic, so it, it is causing quite the delay on Stearns. There's a lot of emergency equipment. There's a freight train stopped in the area. And then I want you to take a look at this video that we had a little earlier this morning. This is near Bronzeville. Indiana Avenue closed 31st to 35th police activity.